Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A few weeks ago, if you guys are familiar with the tech world, Apple held their annual event where basically every year they announce their new products. Their new way of how they're all gonna get us to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Should I say that? Is that funny? <laughs> Should I say that? Every year there's always a new iPhone. This year, however, they did not announce that, which honestly I'm a little bit annoyed about. But what did launch is iOS 14. And oh my God, I think it's been a pretty long time since any of the Apple updates really caused like an excitement or like a splash in society. But I will say Apple really did sister snap with iOS 14 because there are so many really, really cool, exciting features that I have been loving so far, especially the ability to customize your home screen. I have already seen so many people across all different social media platforms posting screenshots and getting creative with their home screens. Now, mine still looks really, really boring. I will show you guys. It's literally just my regular apps and I added a fun little calendar widget so I can see what's going on with my day. And I really wanna figure out how I can customize my own home screen. But until then, I thought it'd be so much fun to sit down, take a look at what you guys have created and do my makeup inspired by your iOS 14 home screens. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited to get started and just sit down and play with makeup today. I tweeted earlier asking you to send me screenshots of your iOS 14 home screens, and I am so jealous of how some of them are looking so far. And the first home screen that I want to show you guys is from Chloe, and hers looks like this. Looking at Chloe's home screen, I'm definitely noticing a few things right off the bat. It is very cute, it's very bright, and it's also very soft, which is definitely giving me a lot of inspiration for a fun makeup look to combine all these elements. In her background, she has these orange butterflies, and there's a user on Twitter that I follow named Lauren. Her at is Raggedy Royal. She had this whole like butterfly eye look trend, which could be really, really fun to do. And then all of her app icons are pink and glittery, which I normally don't love for makeup looks. You guys have heard me talk about this, but I feel like I have a really good idea of how I could pull all these elements into a fun look. So let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. Okay, you guys, so for the first step, as always, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of concealer and put this on my eyelid to act as my primer. And then we're just gonna go right in with our shadows. So I think I'm going to start first by grabbing Grabbing. Actually, let me not use my palette for once. I'm gonna grab the Be Perfect Cosmetics X Stacy Marie Carnival palette, and I'm gonna dip into this shade up here called Slow Burn. It's just a really pretty, like burnt orange color, and I'm going to pack this in the outer corner. Now that that's laid down, I'm just gonna grab a little fluffy brush and dip into, honestly, maybe a little bit of 518 and just blend that out. If I was gonna do this look myself, I would honestly probably start off with a much darker color just because I really like high contrast, but Chloe's home screen is so soft that I honestly feel like this will be perfect. I really wanna match Chloe's muted pink tones as much as I possibly can. So I'm gonna grab the shade Mary from my palette on an M456 and use this color to further like the crease. What am I even saying? Um, just put this here. <laughs> and now I'm gonna grab some pinkity drinkity just on a fluffy brush and blend out that Mary. And I'm just gonna use a little flat top concealer brush and some more concealer to cut my crease. Now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Sister, which is like the metallic champagne shade. I'm just gonna pack this right onto the lid. And I'm also gonna use the shade to highlight the inner corner as well. Why does this look so patchy down here? It's a pumpkin patch. Ew, what is going on? I guess it won't really matter to be honest because it'll be covered in a butterfly anyway. There we go, that's the shape that I'm going for. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some nice glitter adhesive. Oh God, I hate, hate using glitter. It's just gross. Like once you put on glitter, you're stuck with it for the next roughly three to four business days. Okay, so just more of a general note that I'm noticing. I'm just not feeling a lot of enthusiasm as I'm looking at Screen. So I think that might read across the audience. Are you still filming? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that looks okay. Okay, so now that the overall shapes and glitter are all on there, it is time to add our butterfly design. So it's gonna take my nice liquid liner and I'm going to just do a regular wing. Okay, now I'm just gonna draw a gigantic wing basically. And now I'm just going to add in the little lines. Okay, so now the same thing on the little lower wing situation. Okay, and now the last step of this butterfly eye is just take a little bit of white eyeliner and add in the dots. Oh, hey, oh, uh, no, hey, oh. He just peed like the most pee I've ever actually seen. Great. No, he just peed like the most pee I've ever actually seen. Great. Mascara time. 
All right, you guys, so this is one eye of this look all complete. I'm gonna cut and do the other one off camera quickly and I'll be right back with the finished look. I matched the other eye off camera, added a ton of this beautiful baby pink blush, some pink highlighter, and just did a cute little ombre glossy lip. And I think that is this soft pink butterfly look inspired by Chloe's home screen all complete. I really love how this look turned out today. The soft orange and pink tones work so beautifully together and remind me so much of the fall season coming soon. And even though the butterflies on the eye do look like a really, really vibrant statement piece, they were actually really, really easy to do. And I think this look was super, super cool. Thank you once again to Chloe for suggesting it to me. And I think it is now time to move on to the next one. Yo! Yo, Bye. yo. This one that I have picked out is by Leah Sencor, and she sent me these screenshots of her phone. Now, as you guys can see, it's very like purple, very periwinkle, which is by far my favorite color in the entire world. And it's very just like, Calming. Yes. Is it weird to say like this would remind me of like that lavender like pillow spray that would like put you to sleep? Relaxation, calming down, ending off the day on a positive, beautiful note vibes. Serenity. Ser <laughs> Sure. I don't do makeup looks with this color very often, so I'm definitely excited for this. And as you guys can see on her little Widget Smith app she has, it's like this very like purpley pinky sky with little planets and stars like drawn in as a cartoon over top, which I think is so, so cute. So I'm going to use that as my source of inspiration for this makeup look today. As always, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my concealer and use it as my eye shadow base that I am using a really, really light shade this time, just because since we're working with pastels, we want them to really pop. First, I'm just gonna grab a little fluffy brush and just use some different shades of purple. Um, maybe a little bit of single, which I still am. It's a subtle impression. <laughs> yeah, I'm not having a good day today, you guys. I'm single. <laughs> Uh, just really, really single today. Now I'm just gonna take my Morphe 35i palette and dip into the nice pastel purple shade. I love, love, love this color eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna take this nice pastel pink and really just, you know, plop this in there. Warm it up and give some pink clouds. That looks like shit. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a little bit of white. I mean, that looks like shit. Wow, you can really tell that I'm not having a good day, huh? Oh, sorry guys. Not every day can be a good one. That's so true. That's so true, James. Now I'm just gonna start drawing in some nice planets. That's Saturn, mama. <laughs> No, let's just keep rolling. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe something great will come out of this. Really shitty. Just seems like every time that I find somebody great, it's like three seconds later, they're not. But it's also like, if it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. I mean, I think by constantly saying that these things will forever and all that, if you put that out there, that's what comes back to you. I know, it's just really hard to think otherwise with all this like stupid shit that I've dealt with. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna apply a little coat of mascara. Since we did the white liner and then also all the little white drawings, I honestly don't wanna do a full lash because it's just gonna cover up all the work that we just did. For my lips today, of course, I'm going to match it right to the eyes. So I'm gonna grab the Ofra Las Vegas Liquid Lipstick. All right, you guys, well, now that the lips are all on and matching the eyes very, very perfectly, I think that completes this Pastel Skies look inspired by Leah's iOS 14 home screen. Honestly, this might be one of the first times while doing these like recreating art videos that I haven't been in love with the final look. Usually I'm like obsessed with them, but honestly this time I don't really know. Leah's home screen and the color scheme is so, so cute. And I feel like I had a really good vision for this look in my head, but I honestly just feel like I didn't do the best job executing it. I think the colors are really cute. I think like the white liner idea was really, really cute as well, but I just feel like this could have been a lot better, but I don't really know what I would have done to change it. I would love to see how you would recreate this and hopefully do it a whole lot better than mine. It's a cute idea. So regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this look and now it is time to wipe it off and move on to the next one. Okay, so when I tweeted it, so when I tweeted you guys asking to send me photos of your home screens, there was a million different themes and aesthetics, but I did notice that there was one style in particular that a ton of different people were using, and that was neon icons. I picked out this photo from Autumn Diane, and as you guys can see, she has a very like Billie Eilish, green and black neon inspired lock screen, which I think looks super, super cool. So I thought that this would be a really fun trend to pull into a makeup look. Basically what I'm envisioning for this look today is a graphic liner that looks like it's like a neon light against like a black background. Backdrop. Normally I would lay down the black first, but I'm definitely concerned about putting color over top of black. Whatever, 
Let's just try and see what happens, I guess. Just placing the shadow in the general area where I want it to be. Obviously, we're going to blend that out, but I don't want to go too crazy with the black just yet because, I mean, y'all already know. <laughs> Looks like a, like a literal drag queen eyeliner. Okay, now just taking a little bit more of that black, I'm going to use this on a fluffy brush to diffuse out these edges. Very, 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 very carefully. Putting this on the lower lash line as well. So now basically what I'm going to do is grab a little bit more of this white liner. You see lots of white liner in this video. I don't know why that ended up happening that way, but basically I'm just going to grab a little liner brush and sketch out like the graphic liner that I want to do, but I'm actually for once not going to worry about it being too precise because we're going to blend it out. And now I'm just going to grab a little fluffy brush. I saw a ton of people doing it green at Neon, but I also saw a lot of people doing blue. So maybe I'll actually do like an ombre of the two colors. Do you think that'd be cool? Yeah. Just gonna grab some shadows just like this and I'm going to pack that right on top of that white liner just like this. Ooh, uh, that looks so cool. Oh, that actually does look kind of cool. Oh, period. Now I'll just switch it over to a little bit of teal in the middle. I'm also gonna place a little bit of that green neon shade right in the inner corner, because we'll place a highlighter there later on. So now that we have the colors kind of messily placed on there, and like I said, this mess kind of was on purpose because this is basically going to be like the glow of the neon. We don't want this to look like the actual light just yet. That's gonna be what happens right now. With a tiny little liner brush and a little bit more white liner, I'm gonna go in with a second layer in that same general shape, but this time I'm gonna be much more precise with my line. Oh, I definitely want to add in that color to my lash line. Oh my God, kind of fun. Wow, that actually turned out really good. We love her. Off the juice, Cody got me tripping. Off the juice, Cody got me tripping. All right, you guys, well, that was fast. I think that is one eye of this neon look all complete. I was definitely worried about this technique at first, but I think that I got it down pretty pat and I am loving how this is looking so far. I'm gonna go to... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera quickly and I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay, you guys, the lips are on and I think that they added such a cool like punk vibe to this makeup look. And I think that is this neon look inspired by Diane's home screen, all complete. When I first saw people using neon icons in their home screen, right away I knew the makeup look that I wanted to create and spoiler alert, it was this one. But I wasn't sure how I was actually gonna achieve that just because sometimes layering on bright colors over top of black is like literally impossible. But I think that we nailed the technique and this looks so, so, so cool. I've seen a lot of people do this neon liner before so I'm absolutely not taking credit, but I I would love to see what you guys can come up with after seeing this technique. With all that being said, I have been down in the studio for hours now filming this video and I think that it is time to bring this one to a close. I had so much fun recreating these three very different makeup looks from these three very, very different iOS 14 home screens and I'm definitely looking forward to hearing in the comments down below which look was your favorite and how you've customized your home screen. If you guys enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. Also, if you've not already, click that bigger subscribe button to come join the sisterhood and finally click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts are gonna be linked right here around the screen. And if you wanna text me on my personal phone number for updates on new videos, photos, merch, and so much more, my number is 310-905-8746. This video sister shout out goes to sister Kevia. Thank you so much, love for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when I go live on Twitter. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.